insha'Allah. We'll share the inspiring story of a renowned microbiologist who embraced Islam after uncovering the profound scientific wisdom behind a hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The hadith discusses the method of purification when a dog's saliva contaminates an object. Backed by scientific evidence, this story showcases the timeless relevance of the Prophet's teachings and how they guided this scientist toward Islam as the ultimate truth. Let's uncover how this simple yet extraordinary teaching transformed a life and proved that Islam is the path to salvation. Dr. Robert Sam, a distinguished microbiologist from the U.S., moved to Egypt for professional research. One evening, during a discussion with his Muslim colleagues, the topic of dogs arose. His friends explained the Islamic ruling regarding dogs, particularly the impurity of their saliva. They quoted the hadith of Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Tuhuru ina'i ahadikum, Ida walaga fihi al kalbu, an yaksilahu seba maratin ula hunna bitturab. The purification of the vessel of one of you, if a dog licks it, is to wash it seven times, one of which should be with soil. Sahih Muslim, another hadith states, Ida walaga al kalbu fi ina'i ahadikum. If a dog licks the vessel of any one of you, let him wash it seven times, the first time with dust. This also reminds us of another hadith. If a dog licks the vessel of one of you, let him wash it seven times and rub it with soil the eighth time. Intrigued yet skeptical, Dr. Sam couldn't understand why Islam emphasized using soil in addition to water to purify an object contaminated by a dog's saliva. After all, wasn't water and soap enough to clean germs? He decided to investigate this matter scientifically. Dr. Sam conducted an experiment. First, he allowed a dog to lick a tool. He washed the tool thoroughly seven times with water and soap. Then he examined it under a microscope. To his amazement, the object still contained millions of harmful bacteria. Curious about the Prophet's instruction, he followed the method prescribed in the Hadith. He washed the same object seven times, but this time included soil in one of the washes. When he re-examined it under the microscope, every trace of bacteria had vanished. Dr. Sam was in awe. How could a man from the 7th century living in the deserts of Arabia possess such advanced knowledge about microbiology and purification? Modern science offers compelling explanations for this prophetic guidance. 1. Bacteria in dog saliva. It is well documented that dog saliva carries harmful pathogens. According to the World Health Organization, up to 99% of human rabies cases are caused by dogs. Rabies, a fatal virus, can spread through a dog's saliva and enter the human body through even the tiniest wound. Furthermore, studies have shown that dog saliva contains other harmful bacteria that pose risks to human health. Number two, the power of soil. Scientific research has revealed that soil is a natural reservoir of antibiotics. In 2018, researchers at Rockefeller University discovered malacidins, a new class of antibiotics found in soil. These substances effectively neutralize bacteria, including antibiotic-resistant strains. Soil, therefore, contains natural compounds capable of eliminating harmful microorganisms, confirming the wisdom behind the Prophet's teachings. Dr. Sean Brady, a lead scientist in the study, noted that soil holds millions of microorganisms with therapeutic properties. These findings align with what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught over 1400 years ago. For Dr. Sam, the results of his research were undeniable. He realized that the knowledge of the unseen, such as bacteria and their eradication using soil, could not have been known by Prophet Muhammad وسلم, without divine revelation. This profound realization led him to accept Islam. He embraced the Shahada, and Dr. Sam dedicated his life to spreading the beauty and truth of Islam to others. This story reminds us of the timeless relevance of Islamic teachings. The wisdom found in the Quran and Sunnah extends far beyond human comprehension and often aligns with modern discoveries. As Allah states in the Quran, 
سنريهم آياتنا في الآفاق وفي أنفسهم حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق أولم يكف بربك أنه على كل شيء شهيد We will show them our signs in the universe and in their own selves until it becomes manifest to them that this, the Quran, is the truth. Is it not sufficient in regard to your Lord that he is a witness over all things? Suratu Fusilat. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was sent as a mercy to all of creation. His teachings are not just religious guidelines, but also provide insights for human welfare and advancement. May Allah guide us to reflect on the miracles of His creation and strengthen our Iman. Let us continue to explore the treasures of knowledge in Islam and strive to implement them in our lives. Thank you for watching and may Allah guide us all to greater understanding and reflection. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.